what was made crystal clear in the experiences we saw in my region, uh, in places like Fire Island, New York, uh, and Manilocan, New Jersey, is how technology transitions can pretty significantly impact consumers in ways that's not always evident at the outset. And there, uh, there's been a lot of uh, very strong feelings about this. And so I, I guess the first question would be, simply is, do you agree that there are many instances in which a copper network must be maintained because IP services do not meet all of the needs of consumers? And that's a really open question to the panel. Uh, thank you. I would say that we need to maintain the protections of the networks that we have now as we're figuring out what the new technologies are and what opportunities we have to make sure that they're serving the same values as the existing network did. As you mentioned, after Hurricane Sandy um, in Fire Island in Mantelica, New Jersey, Verizon decided to replace its copper network with a uh, fixed wireless service, and there was an outcry from everybody because people really cared and they realized that this service wasn't as good as what they had on the copper service. People had heart monitors, security systems, uh, internet access that they lost because the fixed wireless service didn't offer it. Um, and luckily, the FCC and the state commission there in New York, at least, uh, were able to step in and protect consumers. And Verizon is now deploying fiber instead, but we still need to make sure that Consumers know the differences between these technologies and are prepared for more outages. Mm 